Okay, the second type of loop that we're going to have is an indefinite loop. Indefinite loop. An indefinite loop is one that we're not quite sure when it's going to end. So a for loop that we did before is a definite loop because we know definitely how many times the loop is going to be executed. Whereas an indefinite loop, we're not quite sure when it's going to finish. So for example, it may be that, let's, let's come up with an example. Um, let's say you want a program that continuously asks for somebody's age. And it does that until such time as they type in an adult's age. Okay, in other words, it will loop round and round if they give a child age and say, no, nope, that's not an adult, input the age again. That sort of idea. It's going to keep doing that until we type something in that, it, that gives an adult's age, and then we can move on to the rest of the program. Okay, so in other words, we need to have a loop. And as you can see here, the output of the loop here is uh, either yes or no again. So yes, this means this is an adult age. Now remember, what goes inside here is what controls yes. In other words, whatever is true here or yes is what will make this exit the loop. So that's going to be if some variable that we're going to have to capture if age is greater than or equal to 18, then they're an adult, right? So yes, they are an adult, and they can come down here, and the rest of the program can finish. Now, in this case, it's just going to end, but there might be some other bit of the program down here that does something or other um, um, by virtue of the fact that they're an adult. Okay, if not, what are we going to do? Well, first of all, we need to get the person's age. So we're going to have an input. So before we decide whether the age is greater than or equal to 18, we need to get that age from the user. So let's type in input um, or a valid adult age. Okay, and we're going to assign that to this variable called age. But at this point, whatever they type, that's going to be the value of age. If it's greater than or equal to 18, uh, Oh, I beg your pardon. So if it's greater than or equal to 18, yes, that's an adult comes around. If it's not greater than or equal to 18, it'll come back up here and ask to input a valid age again. But perhaps we want to little put a, a little bit of output first to say that's invalid. So we might put a little bit of output to say uh, you must type an age at least 18 years old. Okay. Let's try that. Let's do the step thing. So we click on this button here, which is step to the next stage. So we start. Next, we go to the loop. Input a valid age. So let's execute that by clicking step. Okay, input an, uh, an age. Let's put uh, a child's age. 12. Is age greater than or equal to 18? It certainly is not. So it's going to come down here. It's going to come down and say, you must... Here we go, we must type an age at least 18 years old and back up to the top of the loop again. Input a valid age. Okay, so maybe we'll do 16 this time. Again, that's not greater than or equal to 18, so it goes around again. So we, must, we must type a valid age. And then after that, you, um, sorry, I've got somebody came in. Uh, we're gonna type one more time, input a valid age. So this time we're gonna do uh, 18. 18 is an adult, so that's fine. It says, let's check it in a step. Yes, that is valid. And it comes down here and ends. So there we have an indefinite loop. And that's the end of the program for chart complete.